Today we will learn 737 new generation series on skid auto brake system bite test via CBT program. Let's start. An airplane that needs maintenance was just parked outside the hangar. Look at the logbook in the flight compartment to see what problem the pilots reported. Let's continue. The logbook shows that the anti-skid inoperative amber light came on during the last flight. Also, the auto brake disarm amber light came on when the pilots selected auto brake 2 on approach. Yes, we know on skid inop light came on in flight. Auto brake disarm light came on the van auto brake 2 selected on approach. This failure information is written down on the logbook and continue. The ADA roos are aligned. Hydraulic systems A and B supply pressure. External electrical power is available. We are ready for troubleshooting. You need to find the fault code and correct the fault. Select a tool to start the fault isolation. You use this tool to access the flight deck. Select another fault isolation tool. Find the fault code and the FIM task. Find the fault code and the FIM task in the FIM. Select the data on the page that has a fault description that is the same as the observed fault for this lesson. We search on skid inop light illumination on the FIM fault isolation manual by the pages. Yes, this one, on skid inop light illuminate and written down fault code. And now go to the task FIM task. Path. FIM task, go to FIM task by the this selection. Go to the FIM task. Do the initial evaluation of the 3242 task 829 procedure. Yes, this page shows the auto break the sunlight illumination for causes push and release auto break disarm light it means light test light test is okay or not okay and continue B if the auto break this light goes off and these steps replace auto break disarm light assembly but we light is okay when light test and you must find test. the initial evaluation section of the task. We continue possible causes. Possible causes shows as a numerics. First one is better one or probably this problem and continue this numerics. Wiring problem or in applied or output on skid. Select another page and continue next page yes in evaluation fault isolation procedure is byte result this is the initial evaluation please select it yes very good this is the first page of the 3242 task 801 procedure do the first step in the procedure first step on skid auto brake control unit will keep the record of faults in memory. These faults can be seen on the display, front of the display. Select the fault isolation tool to begin the procedure. We continue. Continue box. with the byte procedure in the manual. Yes, we continue box. And this is not the correct switch to show the AACU byte memory recall. Try again. Do the memory recall. The 
first maintenance message appears in the display. Select the message to record it. This box shows the transducer number two wheel has a problem. Look for more faults. Continue more faults if available. When a message test end appears in the message display, there are no more faults in the AACU byte fault memory. Yes, no more fault. We can understand by the test end letters. We continue CBT. Select the next step in the procedure. This is not the next step of the procedure. Try again. Select another page. Another page. Yes, I am wrong. Continue. Do the unskid autobreak test. In test hydraulic system A and B preservation. Make sure autobreak selector not in off position. Let's continue. Select this step. Must be in this configuration to do the anti skid auto brake control test. Assume that these tasks have already been done. One by one, we done related to schedule and continue. The rotary switch on the AACU must be in the norm position for the control test. Here, the rotary switch is in the norm position. Start the anti skid auto brake control test. This switch sets the type of test to do. Push this switch. Continue. This switch sets the type. Push this switch. We use two hands for test. Same time, press to these two switches on the front of the box and test During starts. the control unit test, the wait message flashes four times in the message display. There is an existing fault. Record the maintenance message into the byte results area. Select the data in the message display to record it. Continue. Select the verify switch again. The test end message shows. Therefore, there are no other faults. We press second time verify test push button for more false information on the box, but not any more failure. We can understand test end message and continue select the fin task for the fault message in table 201 select the fin task on the table of fault messages yes transducer 2 we write down transducer Good. 2 now go to task 805 in the fin we continue 32 chapter. Select a page in the film. Select page 201 of task 805. Record the possible causes for the transducer 2 fault. Yes, we see two possible causes on the film. Unskid transducer and wiring problem. You already did the initial evaluation and you verify that the fault is still active. Select the next step in the fault isolation procedure. Now we remove transducer on the number two tire. A new anti-skid transducer is installed.
and new one installed and continue. Select the next step in the procedure. Select the repair confirmation step in the fault isolation procedure. Select another page. Select another page. This step in the procedure will verify the repair of the anti-skid transducer. Obey this warning when you do the repair verification. Be careful before test must be applied the warning message warning message says make sure that area around the brakes is clear and chucks are installed on the wheels this prevents possible damage to equipment or injury to persons when the brakes apply and release in the test and we understand continue hydraulic systems a and b still supply pressure Yes, we have hydraulic pressure on the airplane, A and B. The parking brake is still released. Yes, okay. Do the next step in the repair confirmation. Set the parking brake. We pull up the rated circuit breakers and now parking brake on. Turn the wheel speed transducer. step in the procedure then answer the question after the changing we apply the uh, brakes by the rudder pedals and we check brakes okay or not okay stop the wheel speed transducer And Read second, the next step in the procedure, then answer the question. And second time. The brakes operated correctly. Therefore, select yes. Yes, yes. Continue. Press the yes. Depressurize hydraulic systems A and B. Hydraulic powers are off. Via this process. switch operates the engine-driven pump in hydraulic system B. Try again. Two hydraulic system pressures are drop. Continue. And press the rated circuit breaker and this parking brake light illumination. Select yes. a tool to continue the repair verification procedure. And continue by test continue. procedure via control box. Push the reset switch to erase the maintenance message from the AACU. Yes, after changing, we must uh, reset and memories. The message memory clear appears in the AACU message display. We can see memorize clear message on the box and continue. Install the wheel hubcap. You repaired the fault. Good job. Thanks to you, the airplane can move back to the gate for the next flight. Yes, have a nice flight. In this lesson, you are given an observed fault. We are now 
summary of the fault you then used the film to get the fault code and the film task number we should find the related uh, fault message on the film like that on skid in applied by the desire the film task had you do the bite on the aacu this gave you more information about the problem transistor do failure message appears on the screen via this switch moves to down like that byte position you use the maintenance message from the aacu byte to find another fim task number we agree this failure by the box and continue fault isolation manual like that transistor 2 related task number this part yes when you review the list of possible causes, you learn the anti-skid transducer or wiring could be the cause of this problem. We learn possible causes. Two possible causes are shown on the film. One of them anti-skid transducer and second one wiring problem. You then followed the FIM task procedure. You corrected the fault and completed the FIM task. Continue fault isolation procedures like that. Replace the unskid transducer. These are task transducer removal. Removal part uh, is written down aircraft maintenance manual part. We continue aircraft maintenance manual. The anti-skid system now operates great. See you again other lessons. Thank you for listening.